More than a year until the election for governor, the candidate pool is already packed with some pretty big names. So on the Democratic side, that includes current Commissioner of Public Lands Hillary Franz, State Senator Mark Mullet, and current State Attorney General Bob Ferguson. Republican candidates include, <clears throat> excuse me, Richard uh, Richland School Board member Semi Bird, and of course, now former Congressman. Dave Reichert, King 5 political analyst, former Washington Governor Gary Locke, and former Washington Attorney General Rob McKenna join me now. Gentlemen, thanks for coming on. I'm going to send this one straight out to you, Rob. How does this sure. change the race? Well, it changes the race because Dave Reichert is now far and away the front runner for the Republican spot on the on the ticket. And, uh, you know, he's got the highest name ID. He's very well liked in Republican circles. He'll hold the base and he's got the ability to pull in uh, crossover voters as well. So it, he is immediately the front runner among Republicans. And, uh, you know, according to the polling I've seen is, you know, number two overall in this race already. All right, Gary, should Democrats be concerned? Well, obviously, uh, they should be concerned uh, because he's a very attractive Republican candidate compared to the candidates uh, over the last several uh, races for governor. Uh, and he has a track record of uh, appealing to people on both sides of the aisle. Uh, he's going to have to figure out how he differentiates himself from Donald Trump and the current uh, group of Republicans, both in the Congress and in the state legislature uh, and throughout the rest of the state. So um, uh, what, what's, a, what's appealing is that it's a top two uh, primary, regardless of whether you're Democrat or Republican, the top two will advance. And as long as he can become part of the top two, uh, then uh, it's going to be a very interesting race in November of 2024. And Gary, e even though he hasn't, I don't think, technically thrown his hat into the ring, do you think Ferguson is the front runner on the Democratic side? And if so, do you foresee other Democratic candidates maybe stepping aside? Uh, I don't see uh, other Democratic candidates stepping aside because, again, it's a top two. And so it's possible that uh, depending on I mean, there's a long ways to go between now and and the August of 2024, the, the summer primary. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Dave Reichert could stumble. Uh, Mr. Ferguson could stumble. And so that's a great opportunity for any of the Democrats and any of the candidates, quite frankly, especially on the Democratic side, to uh, um, move ahead and become uh, just one of the top two. That's all they need to be is just one of the top two. Right. And in the last several elections uh, across the state, you've had uh, races where the top two were either Democrats or Republicans. Rob, as somebody who lost a very close election to Governor Inslee, do you think, and you kind of alluded to this, that Reichert can do what uh, no Republican has done in more than 40 years? Yeah, it's, I think it's possible in any given election because every election is different. And our state is a state with lots of voters who like to cross over and uh, support the person they think is the best candidate. I had a lot of Democratic crossover support, independent voters, as well as Republicans. Uh, I also had a couple of measures on the ballot uh, on marriage and cannabis that really drove turnout heavily in Seattle. and. Uh, helped uh, Inslee uh, win that race by the narrow margin that he did. So I think, you know, Dave Reichert will have to catch a few breaks, uh, you know, not have measures on the ballot, for example, the drive turnout in Seattle quite as much as they did in 2012. I mean, you guys obviously both ran for governor. I know that he was seeking some um, opinion, I guess, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for, As some advice, basically. And I know he reached out to you, Rob. Tell me about that conversation. Well, he, you know, he just wanted to know what to expect running statewide. You know, it also, of course, did I think he should run? Is it a winnable race? I told him he should, and it is. Uh, I also, you know, didn't pull any punches about the fact that it's a big state. And Gary knows this very well also from campaigning statewide. Uh, it, it, the earlier you start, the better. Uh, the first time you drive to Walla Walla and back twice in the same week, you realize <laughs> there's a lot of ground to cover. There is a lot of ground to cover. Do you think, uh, Gary, the political climate is such that he he really has a chance here? Well, I, I think a moderate has a chance here, uh, but he's going to have to demonstrate uh, what those uh, moderate views are as they relate to the everyday issues uh, that confront people all the way from Walla Walla to Seattle uh, to uh, uh, to the Olympic Peninsula to Hoquiam and Aberdeen and and uh, Port Townsend. Uh, the, the big thing is that uh, it looks like uh, former President Trump is the front runner. Uh, and if he's on the ballot, 
uh, Dave Reichert has to really determine and establish how he's going to differentiate himself and how independent he will be from a Trump presidency, uh, because this state uh, is solidly against President Trump, including Republicans. Uh, and Roy Fer uh, and Mr. Ferguson, Bob Ferguson, has actually established quite a track record, a reputation of uh, going up against the Trump administration and winning and prevailing. And so I think the voters here are going to say we do not want someone who's going to be lockstep uh, with uh, uh, another Trump presidency and even being on the campaign trail. So uh, Dave Reichert has to really early on demonstrate his independence from Donald Trump. Really quickly, Rob, uh, I'll let you. We heard Dave Reichert basically say that he didn't well, he didn't really want to get into that fray just yet. Cross that bridge about former President Trump when he gets to it. What are your thoughts on that relationship? Well, Gary's analysis is spot on. He has to establish himself as uh, you know being his own man, and he'll be able to do that because Reichert is well remembered as the King County Sheriff, the man who caught the Green River Killer. He's uh, regarded as a capable member of Congress who represented a purple district. Had plenty of people in both parties supporting him in that role. He has a, his own you know, strong personality and record that will allow him to stand apart. And I think. Uh, He'll need to do that, as, as Gary said, in a race where Trump could be at the top of the ticket again. It's one of the things that makes running statewide hard for Republicans in Washington state, that yep. you have to run when the president's on the ballot. All right, Rob, Gary, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.